Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video and happy September. I hope your back to school seasons are going well so far. If you missed it, I have posted a few school related videos. I did some breakfast ideas and some lunch ideas and I already have a ton of other videos on my channel with more lunch, dinner, breakfast and snack ideas. But today I'm coming at you with another snack and this one was definitely a childhood favorite for me. We are going to be making our own homemade vegan chewy inspired granola bars. I decided to go all total copycat and replicate um, three of my most popular flavors. So we have some peanut butter, some chocolate chip, and some s'mores with some vegan marshmallows up in there. And the recipe is actually really, really easy to make. And if you don't like these flavors, it's really easy to customize as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to make it. Let's go. So our base recipe for the granola bars requires only five essential ingredients. And the bulk of our granola bars is going to be a mixture of quick cooking oats and puffed rice cereal. So here I'm just adding them to a big bowl and mixing them together. So then that way, once I mix all the liquid ingredients together, it'll be really easy to pour over the dry ingredients. So for our liquid ingredients, we're going to start with a base of liquid sweetener. Here I'm using agave, but date syrup or maple syrup will also work well here. And we're also going to need some granulated sweetener. Here I'm using coconut sugar, but you can also use brown sugar or regular sugar too. And the most store-bought granola bars use oil, but today we're actually just going to use nut butter. You can use any nut or seed butter you want. So even if you have a nut allergy, you can make these bars. And then last but not least, we're going to add in some vanilla extract and a touch of salt, and then mix everything together until it forms a nice and even uniform consistency. And then actually we're going to pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds just to make it a little bit more runny and drizzly. This will make it easier to mix your granola bars, which we're going to do right now. So just add it to the mix with the dry ingredients and use a spatula to mix everything together. You can start using a spatula, but eventually you may just want to switch to using your hands. It will be a little bit easier to incorporate everything together. So now we've made our base recipe and we can add in our add-ins for different flavors. So for the peanut butter granola bars, I'm adding in some chopped peanuts. Uh, traditional ones actually use peanut flavored chocolate chips, but I found that chopped peanuts uh, just works just as well. And also most of those flavored chips are vegan. So once they're all mixed in, we're just going to place them in a lined nine by nine inch pan and just use a spatula to spread the mixture out a bit. But honestly, I would recommend using your hands. You want to really, really press the mixture down and get it as even and firmly packed as possible. That's going to make your granola bars a lot easier to chop later. And then we're just going to pop this in a 350 degree oven for around six to eight minutes. And that's it for our peanut butter flavor, but we do have two more flavors. So for our chocolate chip flavor, we're just going to be adding in some mini dairy-free chocolate chips. I definitely prefer to use the mini ones. The bigger ones just are too big for the granola bars. And here I actually cut the recipe in half and put it in a nine by around four and a half inch bread loaf pan instead. So I wanted to tell you guys, if you wanna make a few different flavors instead of just a big batch of one flavor, you can totally split it in half and add whatever you want. And then here for our third flavor, we're doing some more. So we're going to add again, vegan mini chocolate chips, as well as some vegan marshmallows. I just chopped up the mini ones into even smaller pieces so they would be more evenly distributed throughout the bars. Either way, you're going to cook those the same way as the big batch of granola bars and you're going to let them cool completely. That's really important in order to make the bars stick together and hold well. And then after they're cool completely, it's pretty easy just to remove them from the pan and then slice them into bars. The nine by nine inch pan makes about 12 bars total, whereas the smaller bread loaf pan makes six granola bars. So depending how many you want, you could cut the recipe in half just for that too, or you could double it. But either way, I think they look pretty realistic to the standard granola bars. And this recipe, the thing I love about about it is it's super super versatile too so you can totally switch up the fillings as well all right guys and that is it for this video let me know what your favorite flavor of uh, chewy granola bars was as a kid if you ate them in the comments below to be honest mine were actually the ones that were completely coated in chocolate i think they were called dips um i like the peanut butter ones was honestly nutritionally probably like the same as just eating a Reese's peanut butter cup just a little bit more crunchy and you could do that with these bars too if you want to just dip them in chocolate but they taste so dang similar to a granola bar it's like amazing I'm seriously blown away and I love how they're not sticky like a lot of other homemade granola bars and they don't really fall apart too much either if you do make them this thin they are a little bit more fragile. So if you're packing them for school lunch, I would actually recommend either doubling the recipe or making it in a smaller pan like I did for the chocolate chip ones or the s'mores ones. So they'll be thicker. Then they hold together with no problems at all. 
So yep, that's pretty much it for this recipe. Uh, in case you missed it, the recipe is linked in the comments below. So go ahead and pop on over to my blog, check that out. Or you can also save the picture for Pinterest or something like that. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day whatever time of day it is for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But before you go, if you do have any other recipe suggestions for school snacks or recreations of childhood favorites, let me know in the comments below too. Okay, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.